Hello guys, welcome to my workbench again. Well guys, uh, a couple of days further now. There were some things uh, that had to be done, so uh, everything was uh, uh, very quiet in, in our uh, workshop. So Anyway, I uh, had a look uh, underneath. You can see a part of underneath that uh, wobbly loop uh, I call. And uh, well, I have to start from the beginning. I did test uh, this receiver on uh, my separation transformer and uh, uh, how you call this? Uh, anyway, for the voltage regulator. And I don't remember if I can't recall the name at the moment. I'm getting a day older, so that's a bit more difficult. Anyway, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, I'm fond of you. Uh, the top part of the well, the top part, under part of uh, that uh, receiver, and you can see the discoloration here. Yeah, but it's not present on the other uh, side of on the, in the middle of the receiver. So uh, that concerns me. And anyway, uh, as I've been, I tested this. I put the voltage on it, drove the voltage up on the uh, on the transformer and uh, to uh, this maximum and what appeared to me that uh, the front end isn't working here. What, what does that mean? Um, uh, the third mixer, also as I can see, the third mixer, uh, the first IF, second IF, uh, the ABC and you call it, you name it, the LF uh, part of it, that's all working. Um, the BFO is working, uh, Everything was uh, uh, doing its thing, but the front end is not working, and uh, yeah, come, so peak coming out of it anyway. So then I started to measure the voltages, and I started on the uh, rectifier here and on the, this uh, capacitor, and you can see the discoloration already. So I, I think uh, the voltage here was 150 volts. Well, the whole uh, receiver works on a voltage of 220 volts. So, uh, and I see the and then I see the discoloration here. So there must be something going on. Perhaps I'm wrong. I don't, uh, perhaps not. Uh, I don't know. I see here a, a double uh, resistor parallel. I don't know if that is, a, that is original. Anyway, on the whole, I uh, think that it's not been worked on this receiver. So these are completely original. So. Uh, Anyway, as uh, uh, so I said, the front end is probably not working. That consists of, uh, let's have a look, if I name this rightly, there is a double uh, triode, uh, ECC189, uh, is uh, connected on the, same, um, on the same spot of voltage. You have the first VFO and you have the first mixer. Uh, so presumably, if that voltage is too low, the chances are that those three valves are on the front that they are not working, or there is something else going on to something uh, that is uh, short in the, in, in the voltage or whatever, whatever. Anyway, I have to investigate that, see what, what, what is going on here. I see here uh, the second mixer as well, on my schematic. So uh, I have to investigate that, so uh, to give you an update of this. Anyway guys, and you can see well, I'll lower the camera a bit, of, and you can see the bottom part of it. Let's have a look, we can manage that. And there you go. You can see it's all fairly uh, original. And anyway, there are some su suspect uh, capacitors. Uh, so here, that is one of them. You see me sp spilling his insides. There was some crackling going on also in the receiver. So. Do I have to? Here's another one here. I don't trust. Yeah, this could be this one as well. The other ones look fairly okay, but uh, I think the first part of this is uh, to check those capacitors here, those three. I don't trust them, so it could be leaky. And uh, I think that is a good uh, point to start, so uh, I will see to that. But first things first, I will uh, check my. Uh, uh, power supply 
on the top here and I have to, along with you guys, I have to investigate how it's, uh, the layout is uh, completely so, so uh, uh, I have to check everything uh, where everything is and disassemble probably some things I don't know really um, I didn't get that far yet anyway guys <coughs> there are some capacitors here I don't know about them uh, that is a low voltage capacitor so I don't know what this is one is but uh, well, I will mention is those uh, power uh, resistors they are not discolored so that is a good sign Anyway, I don't know uh, how much and how, how it is connected up, I really don't know. But what really concerns me is this, uh, this discoloration here. Uh, after, if that is not the cause of some heat or whatever, whatever, I don't know. So anyway guys, I will investigate it further. And so soon as I know something more, I will come back to you. It's actually a shame that I probably won't get this uh, capacitor anymore. I have to use other capacitors for that, so um, I have to see how I can can uh, fix this. I, I don't know yet. I have to think about it. Um, and I want to hold uh, 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 well the, the same look as uh, the receiver is built, but there are some limits here, so what is possible? See if I can uh, get hold of a capacitor. It's a double capacitor, I know that. But there was 150 volts here, so. It could be that it's leaky, so it's dragging the voltage down. So, uh, anyway, uh, there are some more parts probably, but uh, are not we're working properly anymore. Perhaps uh, some resistors that are out of tolerance, I really don't know. I just have to check it. So, uh, anyway, guys, it will be a nice job to, uh, to keep you off the street. So, uh, I will enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed it as well and uh, if you like this little video then give me a thumbs up and we carry on. I'll see you the next time.